Hi there, we're going to my favorite Goodwill today, and the very first thing that grabbed my attention was the huge stack of Nippon plates that were still there, but they had added a few pieces. They had added this creamer, I think, and some serving dishes. And while I do love things made in Nippon because they are truly antiques and they're very, very old, I decided against getting them. That one had a little uh, bit of chipping on the handles. I thought about the gravy boat, but I decided to keep looking around the store instead. There were these two little wooden pieces. Uh, for, that one was $2.99, and then there was Humpty Dumpty. His eyes were a little unsettling to me. <laughs> So I did leave those on the shelf, even though uh, I bet a lot of work went into them. I thought about the bear for a little bit, uh, but it looked like he was dressed for winter. It would have been, I think, a little bit cuter if he was just a general bear. And then look, I found some more of the Syracuse China that I had bought two of these with the lids. I, have, I think these are sugar bowls, the bottoms to the sugar bowl. So here I am thinking like, hmm more sugar bowls or did what I got were custard cups, but I'm pretty sure mine are sugar bowls and those are for sale right now in my store. They had this it, like a fake candle, but it was an owl. Uh, I thought it was sweet that they had it turned on. Uh, it works, tested, but I decided not to get it. They had this really pretty blue lusterware Noritake bowl. It had a really neat design around the edge of it. That gold part that I'm running my finger along, it, it was kind of a raised design. It was very pretty. The shelves were very full this morning uh, that I went, and so it was a lot, lot of things to see. And we end up with a very, very full cart. Just spoiler alert. <laughs> there was this welcome sign, which I thought was adorable because uh, it had a Pomeranian on it. And then I kept looking in the uh, brown section and I found this Clement France or Clemet, if you're French, <laughs> it's an escargot dish. At first I thought it was a deviled egg dish, but um, that is for escargot. One food item that I have not had before. And then there was a vintage uh, Big Bird cookie jar, which I thought was really sweet. It had a lot of surface wear to it and cookie jars are kind of tricky to ship. So unless it really, really is super cool, I decided against it. I did like this Hawaii uh, souvenir tray. I like the saying on it. It's very uh, lightweight and has a, a nice mid-century modern look to it. Let's see, what's this here? Oh, Cypress, that's pretty with the truck on it. Travel mug. These lights. Oh, and then they have a flower on the back. Huh. Probably room decor, maybe. Oh, this is for your nails, to dry your nails. Mm-hmm. There's a whole bunch of hot pads. $2.99 for all of those. Another fan. Ooh, that's old. It's wooden. That's pretty. Portugal. Oh, that's really pretty. That's neat. Go to Holland. Have some chip in there. That's pretty though. Hmm. Hand carved and wooden. There's another fan. works. Tested. It's pretty. Down on a bottom shelf they had these embroidery pieces. I don't know if they were, I don't think they were pillowcases. I think they were maybe wall hangings and it looked like they were the same design or different versions of horses and they were all opened. So 
I did leave those there. But I did see this vintage Fiesta ice bucket. I've never seen a ice bucket made by Fiesta before. It would have had a lid. Of course, the lid's missing. <laughs> and I decided I needed a cart. I'm going to go get a cart, but Cindy's going to get one for me. And they have some Capa de Monte in here. Cool. I think I've seen her this one. I don't know what I've seen. I like that big face. That's cool. I love orange. That's neat. I'm going to take that. This is cool too. That's neat too, huh? Usually these are all chipped up. I know, right? Oh, it is Capo de Monte. That's pretty. I see th this one, not the giant base. I have to. <laughs> That's way too big. <gasps> yeah, I know pretty. that is. Isn't that that see, usually these are all chipped up. Wow, someone took care of it. Wow. Yeah, really. Oh, wait, you have a tape to get. Yeah, to tape the lid, yeah. Went up to get a cart, and you got me a cart, and I got some three things in the case. Now let's go back to the shelves and see what we can find. Look at the rabbit on I there. I know. That's very nice. It matches. I, I wanted to make sure. It I matched. know. Usually they don't match. And I did open right? it, but in the bottom. Is it just? I know. Look at the no. symbol on the bottom. I That's know. Cool. That is neat. Thank you. I think that is that is really adorable. This says Aardvark. Figures to please, like made in Canada. Oh yes, I that up. and that oh, see, that means we have both have good taste. Yeah, I just, I just picked that up. Yes, there. that's very sweet. But that's okay. okay, it's nice to meet you, Bonnie. Aww, you now I can say, look, Bonnie found this little trinket dish for me. <laughs> Give you a little I, shout out. I, I... That was Bonnie that you heard. She was a super nice viewer who came up to me and said hi, and she watches Jocelyn and she watches me, and she was very helpful and found some really cute things for me to uh, take home today. So she found that trinket dish, and she'll find a couple other items. She was very nice, very generous uh, sharing our treasures. So it was very nice to meet you, Bonnie, and I hope I run into you again. I really liked this box of stationery. I thought it was very nicely done, and I decided to get the stationery. It's brand new, even though the box is opened. And here is another piece that Bonnie found. We kind of think that it was a hobbyist piece. It is signed on the one end right there. I think it says Linda Dawn, I'm not sure. Uh, she was very generous and uh, opened it up for me, so we were making sure that there weren't any chips or cracks. It's very thin. So it does remind me a little bit of a hobbyist piece, but I think it's adorable with the honeycomb. And she spotted it first, but she didn't want it. And so she generously gave it to me. So I appreciate that. And here we are moving on to the green section. There was this very large crock. It is missing its lid. And then I, looking at the little trinket dish, the sticker reminded me it probably was Andrea by Sadiq. And then I wanted to see if the green glass glowed. So I'm getting my keys out. And yes, it did. And I got this um, whole bunch of those little purple lights on Amazon. A couple people have asked about that. Um, and I just got them on Amazon. That here is a covered Crazy Daisy butter dish. And you saw me try to see if the that giant paperweight glowed. It did have two scratches in the paperweight. So I did not get the paperweight. But I did think that this covered apple uh, condiment bowl was neat. It was made in Japan. And then that bowl has been there forever. Uh, it has a chip on the underside of the lid and some staining from previous use. But the paint on it, I really like the design. Bonnie and I both found this cat. It had a little bit of chipping to the ears. And then in the white section, there was more of a white cat. But I decided against the kittens. This was a really cool looking clock and I did look up the brand name on the clock and they do sell well but this is a huge piece of glass and it's heavy so I decided against it even though the dog is pretty adorable. If we had a dog like that I'd probably bring it home. <laughs> and then I found a switch plate cover with an owl on it. I thought that was very pretty and then I wasn't sure if I had filmed it <laughs> so I'm showing it to you again. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to push the record button. I get too excited. There was a salt and pepper shaker set with blue and white cows, and I thought they were very sweet. Pretty reasonably priced for me to buy them, so I decided to put them into my overflowing cart. As you can see here, it's getting full, and it was a lot of breakable stuff, so I was getting a little nervous. <laughs> 
continued on in the white section, they had these little snack plates. And then Bonnie saw the pins that I had seen earlier, and I saw a tea towel. I did forget to film the tea towel. But then they were clearing the shelves, and they were clearing the Nippon. And they had put this covered dish out. I think it's a covered butter dish. Um, let me know if you know exactly what it is. So I did snag this, and then they cleared the rest of the Nippon out. This I found the Stangle vase was in the restocking cart, so I decided to get that. Tiny little chips. I think two chips on the base, which Stangle chips very easily, but I really like the look of it. This I felt that I had seen in part of my childhood, that logo. That just reminded me of my childhood, and uh, Jenny quickly snatched it up when I got it home to sharpen her colored pencils. So it did work. It cleaned up very nicely, but she did take it. And here's my really highly breakable cart. <laughs> I'm still a little bit worried, but we're going to keep shopping. I found this really cute cat. Uh, I think it was a hobbyist piece, and when the sticker was on the bottom of it, it kind of rocked. So I wasn't quite sure I was going to get it. And then I removed the sticker to make sure it did sit flat and it does sit flat and kind of judges you silently <laughs> while it looks at you. Then there were these two Aladdin and um, ther Aladdin thermos cups. This reminded me of, you know, soups when you're little, you put hot soup in there and then you had hot soup for lunch. And then I was looking to see what that prayer said. And then I was wondering if this was sterling silver, but the bowl was very, very heavy. So my guess was that was a crystal bowl. Here was a plastic wall clock for your kitchen. And then these distracted me. I, I thought maybe they were glass at first, but they were not. They were plastic. Oh, pretty. I bet those are Lennox. <coughs> Let's look. Oh, no, nope, Mikasa. It's Mikasa. I like them. I like them. They were restocking the shelves and this was uh, freshly put out and I was really excited when I first spotted it but then I noticed that it had a lot of paint loss unfortunately to it so I did not take that with me and then they also had some other plates. These were really pretty. Um, I like the design along them around the rim uh, but nothing that I wanted to pick up and these teacups and saucers were pretty. I like the design, the black and white simplicity of them. So those stayed on very carefully. <laughs> That's how I found it. Uh, this was interesting. This was some plastic fruit on a wood plaque that you could hang on your wall. <laughs> so I left it there because I, I didn't really like it. But someone would and take it home. And then I'm seeing what else is on the shelves because the shelves were so full. And then I went back to the carts. The carts had a lot of plush to them. There was this was from 2022, and it was already donated, which was kind of sad. Um, but I didn't, I didn't get that. I wanted to see what else was in here. I thought, what's this? It was a goose. I think you could hang this on your wall as well. Uh, decided not to get that. And then in the other cart. They had a whole mishmash of things, some little baby shoes and some cassette tapes, turkey, <laughs> a lamp, anything and everything you would need. I don't think I really find anything here. I think I was talking to some people. That's why we get a really long shot of this not really interesting <laughs> restocking cart. So then I decided to go back to the shelves. Monday's Child is fair of face. Made in Korea. Is in with a clear glass, Nazareth PA, little napkin holder. It's cute. All the clear glass. There's so much. Oh, there's another silver silver bowl. It's over here, and there's some. Something in this basket. 
It's a little gift basket from Goodwill. <laughs> it's seashells and a candle. Here's the sugar bowl. Now where did I put the... Here's the sugar. I just had the creamer. Creamer. The sugar and the creamer. Let's see if this is chipped. We have to do it over here though, so you can see me. I sold jewelry I would get that for $1.99 pretty the pink I don't sell a lot of necklaces if at all so I will leave that for somebody else here is a hobbyist piece of eggs it doesn't have a year on it This is uh, Otagiri marked on there. That's pretty. I like that. I like that it's Otagiri. That's nice. Oh, it probably had a lid. That made it look like a present. This, yeah. grapes on it. I didn't think I was finding too much in the green section, so I decided to go over and look in the toys. And I found this Bob Ross big bobblehead plush doll, which I thought was pretty funny. He had the paintbrush and his little palette there. We're in the toys and I saw this. Little desert southwestern succulents and cactus and let's see what year it's from does it have a year let's look and see what the year is they're made in the usa i like how they're small they're plastic and there's three of them so we'll take that into our overflowing cart there's another state of texas I think they just put this out. This is Salt Marsh Pottery from Massachusetts. Definitely. Here is a fun picture, False Craft West Side. That's a neat style. And over here, this tray. Tray. That faux wood on there. It's neat. I like that. Nice for a bar. Homer Laughlin Virginia Rose pattern for $1.99. I like the bright colors on there because usually the colonial stuff is kind of brown. Ooh, I see some fish. Let's look at the fish over here. What are you? A whole bunch of pottery. There's a whole bunch of like, dishes and everything in here. Oh, we might have to get this. My cart is getting really, really full. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get everything to the car, but I am uh, up for the challenge. This is cute. I don't know if I showed that before. And then this is neat here. Field and stream. And then we have over here a haunted in China, scary Halloween. Here, Prince. And then here's a zebra. I thought it was giant Sharon Schnitta, but it is a Prince for Ikea. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, I thought it was a giant one. These emotions. I'm going to wrap up this trip to Goodwill. Um, I'll see you at home with my haul. Hope you enjoyed it. I did get it all in my cart <laughs> and nothing broke. Uh, here is everything that I picked up on this trip to Goodwill. Please note that eBay still hasn't fixed my estimated delivery dates. I do ship within three business days, usually less than that. And so you will be getting your item sooner than it is estimated on the listings in my eBay store. Thank you for your continued support of my channel and hitting the thumbs up if you like this video and leaving a comment below. It really helps my channel grow and I appreciate the support that you've given me. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see ya.